Hi everybody, my name is Whitney and I am a librarian at Midpoint Library in the Library on Wheels department. Uh, the reason I am coming to you today is to give you some tips and tricks with couponing and to keep those dollars in your pocket because who doesn't want to have extra cash on hand, right? So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the many ways that coupons can save you money. And by no means is this extreme couponing. This is just very simple techniques that you can put into your everyday shopping routines. Uh, I recommend when you first start couponing, choose stores that are close to your home where you shop at most frequently. Um, so your neighborhood places. So if you live really close to a Kroger and a Walgreens, choose those two to start your couponing with if that's where you shop the most. Or if you're closer to like a Aldi's and a CVS, choose those to go with. Um, if you have special dietary needs and you use places like Whole Foods or any of the more high-end specialty stores, you can incorporate those as well. Um, and just pick something small to start with is my, my recommendation and my suggestion. When couponing, um, you may use the apps. You can use paper coupons, you can stack, you can use um, different uh, types of apps that give you money back or give you rewards. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about those here in just a second. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to exaggerate with this is don't waste your time on it. Um, you could spend 15 to 20 minutes a week on your couponing and that's going to give you a good amount of savings. You can save anywhere between seven and twenty dollars just within that that 15 to 20 minute time period. It's again like I said it's not like extreme couponing. It shouldn't be divided to your whole you know extra time. It's It shouldn't be stressful. It should be fun and motivating because it's one of those things when you have extra money in your pocket, you can put it towards something that you're really excited about. It could go into your vacation fund. It can go into your coffee fund. I'm a shoe person, so if I want a really cute pair of shoes, it can go into that fund, and I don't feel guilty for spending that money because it was actually money that was going to be spent on something else, but I ended up saving it. So it's one of those things where it, it is a win-win. Um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about not getting stuck on a name brand item. When you're in the grocery store and you have your list, I know that there are some things that people feel like they absolutely, I just have to have this name brand because they make the best. There's very unknown secrets that people don't realize. And one of those secrets is most of the generic brands are made by name brand companies. They're just not as pretty is what I like to call it. The boxes are a little more dull. They're not as eye-catching. They're kind of hidden, put behind things. Um, and so it doesn't grab your attention. It's kind of like the same thought when you're eating food. If you eat um, food on a blue plate uh, or a green plate, you're more likely to eat more. Whereas if it's on red or orange, you're less likely to eat as much. Um, it's just something with colors that tricks your mind into doing these kind of things. It's the same thing with advertisement. Um, so just be very conscious when you are shopping that it's okay to buy things that are generic. And I wanted to give you a few examples um, of some generic items that are actually made by name brand people. And I'm going to give you a couple of different examples from different stores. Um, so I'm going to look at my notes. I made some notes of some of my favorites. Um, Aldi's is one of my favorite places to shop. Um, I enjoy going into Aldi's. They always have different fun little things. Um, always pay attention to all these tags. They will tell you um, how long they will have something. So if you see a yellow tag, um, it, it's usually there year-round. If you see a yellow tag and it has seasonal on it, It'll usually get switched out every three or four months, depending on what it is. 99% of the baking aisle is seasonal. So if there's something that you really like, 
um, and Aldi's stock up on it if it's in the seasonal aisle. If it is a white tag, it means that it was a limited edition or a limited run. They will probably never get it back in. So if it's something that you think that you want, get it while you can. Um, all these Mainville cereals, they are actually made by General Mills. So like a Cinnamon Toast Crunch that is um, a, a Millville cereal is made by General Mills. So you're paying $1.49 as opposed to $3.99, $4 or more for some of the bigger boxes. So that's a really good deal. Um, everybody loves Girl Scout cookies, right? I know I do. Um, guilty pleasure, but everybody only thinks that they can get them once a year. Well, I love supporting our Girl Scouts, but I want a Thin Mint after April. So um, Aldi sells Benton cookies, and they are made by the same company who makes the Girl Scout cookies. Don't tell anybody that secret. Um, Girl Scout cookies run anywhere from $4 to $6 a box. And at Aldi's, they run 95 cents to $1.49. So that is a huge savings, and they taste the exact same. Huge money saver. Aldi's also makes a, um, a Tuscan Garden Italian dressing, and it is an off-brand, um, but it's the exact same recipe. If you compare the labels uh, to Olive Garden's brand, it's the exact same thing, and it is half of the price. So it's $1.69 compared to $4, so a big savings there as well. So you can get the taste of the name brand items made by the name brand companies without the name brand price. You're just getting packaging that's not as pretty, but how many of us actually look at the packaging? Um, peanut butter is another very common thing. Um, great value peanut butter, so you'll find that in your Walmart, you'll find that at um, Sam's Club, places of that nature. Um, it is made by Peter Pan. All of your items that are specific to your store brand names, 95% of those store brand items are made by a branded company, one that you would recognize, one that you would wanna go for and buy. So just remember that when you're looking at your off-brand store brand items, they're 95% of the time made by a name brand. So don't be afraid to pick those up and purchase those. Um, Great Value White Bread is made by Sara Lee. Sara Lee is a very well-known name. Huge savings. Sara Lee breads can go from $2.50 up to $4 or $5, depending on the um, specific type that you get. So knowing that Great Value makes their bread and it has their bread as well, you know, that's a great savings as well. Um, I'm a huge pretzel person. Um, and HK Anderson uh, makes amazing pretzels. You see them a lot during the holidays. Um, they make great value pretzels. So I get spoiled all year round instead of just at the holidays. So that's a good tip as well. Um, another really good one. This is for the moms out there because diapers are ridiculously expensive. Um, if you are a Huggies fan, Kirkland's Signature Supreme Diapers are made by Huggies and they are literally half the price. So that's a big savings for moms. Um, and then Kirkland's Coffee is roasted by Starbucks. So those are just a couple examples of where they trick you, you know, you think like, oh, I have to have this name brand. It's my favorite thing in the world. Just note that all of your generics most of the time are made by a name brand company. So don't waste your money when you don't have to. Um, I always tell people the thing that you want to budget for the most is your cuts of meat, your, your vegetables, your fruits, your produce section that's where you want the bulk of your money to go. So if you can save in those interior aisles or the packaged aisles, that's, that's the go-to. Um, so just some ideas to give you some more ideas for generic um, to buy water, bottled water. If you're a bottled water person, buy generic. It's same companies. Medication. Um, and medication is FDA regulated, so always go generic on your medication. It's going to save you a ton of money. Baby formula also FDA regulated. 
also made by these name brand companies. They're not going to sell you something that's not going to go through the FDA regulations. So save your monies there as well. Sunscreen, again, is FDA regulated by the generic brand. You do not have to pay $25 for good sunscreen. Um, seasoning and spices, anything that's in your pantry, go generic on. It's the same thing. Um, the big differences, again, is the packaging and how they package it. Uh, frozen fruits and vegetables. These are huge, especially with the store name brands. And organic is available in the frozen. And you can save a ton of money with that. So pay attention to your frozen fruits and vegetables. That's a huge money saver for me. Canned beans and canned vegetables. A lot of people are like, I don't like the tin taste or anything like that. Wash it when you open it, clean it like you would like a salad mix or something and put your spices in it. You would never know it comes out of a can. Spices go a long way. Stock up on those, again, get generic. Um, aluminum foil and plastic wraps. They are all made by the same companies. Again, it's just they trick you with the packaging and make it look dull and it doesn't catch your eye and you walk right by it. Baking and cooking supplies, mixes, powders, all of that, baking soda, baking powder, by generic, it's all the same thing. Snack foods, again, um, Benton is my favorite for snacks. I'm a, like I said, a big Aldi's fan. Um, so, and then like, if you have any special dietary needs, all these Target, Whole Foods, all these places, even Walmart now has quite a selection for vegan, keto, uh, gluten-free, dairy-free. We have a gluten allergy and a lactose allergy in our home. And so we have to focus on those things. That's how we have to budget a big part of our budget is for those specialty items. Um, so that's where we focus on you know, buying more brands that are more specific to those needs and saving on our interior items. Um, and another little secret, like Red Mills is one of my favorite things. Also, Star Kiss tunas are one of my go-tos, especially for lunches and stuff. They can be a little expensive. So how do you cut the cost of something that you don't see coupons on very frequently? Write to the companies. 95% of your companies have emails. Send them an email. Tell them how much you enjoy their products. I enjoy writing an email saying, I really enjoy using your corn mix. It makes fantastic corn fritters. I love sharing the recipe with my family and using your product. They love that positive reinforcement, that positive feedback that they hear from people. They will send you coupons. Um, and usually it's between two and six coupons. It can be anywhere from 25 cents off all the way to a free item. The wonderful thing about that is you have the opportunity then to do that every month. They will send you reminders. Hey, do you need more coupons? Hey, is, you know, is there something you'd like to try? Would you like to sample our new product? So it's a great way to recognize the companies that you really enjoy by also saving at the same time. Um, so those are some of the uh, places that I write to specifically monthly to get coupons for. But like I said, most companies, uh, I know YoPlay, we, um, Fairlife, that's one that we use quite frequently. You can write to any of those places. And even some of the generic brands, you can write to them and say, I really enjoy your applesauce. I would like to buy it more in bulk, but due to my grocery budget, I, I can't fit it in. And again, they will send you those coupons. Um, and you know, sometimes 25 cents doesn't sound like a lot, but when you have 25 cents off of 10 products, it adds up quickly. Um, cleaning products are another way to go generic on, um, but I will say that DIYing it yourself is much cheaper and we'll talk about that on another video. Um, personal care products are another thing to go generic on. Again, there are regulations that have to be followed. Most of those products are made by neighboring companies as well. Um, I did want to talk for just a second on fresh produce because that can be extremely expensive in the stores. And I know we don't like to sacrifice on certain items. Produce, again, is my section, produce in the meat section. Um, so there are companies like Green Bean & Co. here in the um, Dayton, Cincinnati area. Um, and then Perfect Foods is another good resource. 
Um, Green Bean Co. Um, is a $25 minimum in Perfect Foods. Um, I started a subscription with them. It's like $29 a month. Um, again, it's based off of what you eat and what your family eats. So it may not be for you. But if it's something where you use a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, those could be great resources for you. Green Bean Co. is great for our family, again, because of the gluten and the lactose allergy. They offer lots of products that cater to that, and they offer tons of savings. They deliver it right to my door. I don't have to go anywhere to get it. Um, I schedule when it comes. So if I want it once a week, I can have it once a week. If I want it every two weeks, once a month, once every two months, it just, it's however and whenever I need it. So I love that I can fluctuate and pick and choose um, my own products, my own groceries and things of that nature. It's fantastic. Those are some great places to check out. Again, that's Green Bean Co. Um, that's very specific to our area. And then Imperfect Foods um, is more known nationally. Um, so those are two great places to try. Cereals, again, generic is the way to go. They're made by name brand companies. Pops and sodas are the same way. Um, diapers, like I had mentioned earlier. And then, of course, your packaged salad and fruit mixes. But it's also really nice to just make your own because um, you can get certain um, packaged salads and you're like, oh, that would be great if it didn't have the raisins in it. I'd rather have cranberries or, oh, that would be a great fruit salad, but I, I don't like the tartness of a pineapple. So when you make things on your own, you can custom it, you can customize it, make it your own. It's it's wonderful. So those are just some ideas as far as going generic and saving money on that route. And you don't need a coupon to do that. All right. So let's see. Paper versus digital. So for me, I am not the person who gets the newspaper. Um, so I do not get the coupons in the mail. But you can go online and see what coupons are going to be in the ads that day. Your local libraries sometimes have extra copies. You're um, able to request them there. The Dollar Tree usually sells newspapers. Um, so instead of paying $3.50 on a Sunday, you can get it for a dollar. Um, there, you can ask your neighbors, your friends, anybody that you know that, that gets a newspaper, hey, do you mind if I have your coupon insert? And then you also get the free ones that get thrown at your curb as well. Um, so you don't have to go out of your way or pay extra money to get coupons. Um, me personally, when I use paper coupons, I kind of go online, I see what's coming out like smart source. Um, I'll be like, oh, I could use two out of the 35 coupons that are, you know, in there. So to spend that $3 and 50 cents to buy the newspaper isn't worth it for me, but a neighbor gets the newspaper. I can ask her for the ads. It's not a big deal. Then I can go into my store ad and see that the, that specific item, it could be a toothbrush that day, is on sale. I can stack my coupon on top of it, and then I'm saving some extra money that way too. Um, digital coupons I find are fantastic in the stores. CVS, um, Walgreens, Kroger's, Myers, places like that have really good rewards programs. They have fantastic rewards programs. Um, CVS has one that you can pay for. It's $5 a month. You get a $10 credit. You have to choose and weigh your options. Do you shop there enough to pay for their program? Um, I saved over $1,000 last year at CVS, so it makes sense for me to, to purchase that specific uh, care pass. Um, like a membership at uh, like Costco or Sam's Club. As fun as those places are to shop, I have a family of two. There's two of us. Bulk shopping is not smart for us, so that membership doesn't make sense. But if you have a family of, say, seven, that could be a great fit for you. Um, the nice thing is with Costco memberships, Sam's Club memberships, you're able to take friends. Um, they have special days where you can go. You can ask a friend or a family member if they have a membership, if they want to kind of, um, hey, can you grab me this item or that item? I'd appreciate it. Um, so, I mean, there's always ways that you can, can use those products as well. Again, don't use coupons for specific items if you're not gonna use that item. Um, so if you see an, uh, a coupon for say a Gillette razor, and you usually use 
a different brand, like an off brand, or you, you like Venus better, nine times out of 10, you're not going to use that Gillette razor because you have something that you already like. So a coupon isn't going to be effective in that situation. But say like your favorite yogurt has a coupon and you buy this yogurt every week, like Gogurt is a big one that has coupons all the time. Um, you know that you buy two boxes every week. So that would be a great coupon for you to clip. So just be smart when you're couponing. Click the coupons that you know that you're gonna use. Um, when you're using the digital coupons, again, don't click every coupon. Um, when you have a profile, places like Kroger's and Myers, they look at your spending um, habits and brand habits. And every quarter they come out with coupons specifically for you. So for your household. So in my household, we get coupons for Fair Life. We get coupons for um, cheese because cheese is a big deal in our house. We get coupons for orange juice because we always have orange juice in our refrigerator. Um, it's catered specifically to you. So just remember that. Um, click the coupons that work for you and your family and the ones that don't, let them go. Um, do not compare and contrast labels inside the store. It will drive you crazy. It's not worth it. Sometimes you're going to pay a little bit more for something and that's okay because you can save somewhere else. Um, online shopping, um, it's nice to have the kind of like the delivery services, especially now with it being COVID culture. Um, I will say don't choose like the next hour delivery. Don't spend that extra $4.99 up to $10.99 for that delivery. It's not worth it. It's, it's just, it's not worth it. Unless it's an emergency, you don't need your groceries that moment. Um, you know, next day free or, you know, beef, there's a, an option on Instacart that's called Flex. So it's over a two day period. So you could get it um, like, you know, today, you could, they could say, hey, we might be able to deliver it today by five. Cool. But then they could text back later and say, oh, we're sorry. It'll be between 10 and two tomorrow. That's fine. Save the money. You can put it in your pocket for something else. Do not pay for delivery charges. Not worth it. Um, also, like if you have an Amazon account, Amazon is a ton of fun. It's not for everybody, but I really enjoy it. I have a Prime membership. Um, it's $12.95 a month. Um, if you have an EBT card, you can get it for $5.95 a month. Um, if you're a student, you can get it for $6.95 a month. There are a ton of ways to save on the membership. Um, the benefits that I really enjoy about it, um, again, I really like good produce and good meat, and I, I tend to uh, gravitate towards Whole Foods for those things. There is a savings uh, QR code specifically for Amazon um, members. You can save anywhere from 10 to 40% on items. I can save anywhere from $5 to $40 a visit just by using that QR code. So that pays for the membership for me. Um, also free two day shipping. I hate carrying dog food. I have five dogs, I have two cats, and I have a partridge in a pear tree. So I do not like carrying heavy pet food. Um, so I buy bulk online on Amazon, free two day shipping. All I have to do is get it in my house. It's fantastic. Um, I also like to buy paper towels, napkins, um, any of like certain um, like cleaning rags because you can get like the microfiber rags for like three bucks for a pack of 20. You can find some really awesome deals um, on Amazon. I, I was, uh, I'm a huge book person, free Amazon reads. You get movie shows, you get TV, you get all these fun things. And it's, it's nice because then you don't have to pay for cable. So, I mean, it's not for everybody, but it's an awesome choice um, if you want to save money. Um, find what the best system is for you, of course. Pick the stores that are going to work best for you. Um, find a way to organize your coupons if you're a um, paper coupon person, even if it's just like a little wallet. Again, don't cut out every coupon. Make your grocery list, have the coupons that you're going to use. And don't use coupons that you're not going to enjoy the brand or you're just cutting it out to have it. It's not worth it. Um, start small. 
and enjoy the process of it. Um, I would say my favorite apps, and I will list some of these online with um, like a PDF that you guys can follow. Um, but my favorite is Fetch. Ibotta is another very popular one. I, I like Fetch because I find it to be easier. I'm one of those people I like quick and simple. Um, so there is a camera button on the phone. You take a picture of your receipt, it uploads points, and then you cash it in for gift cards. I cash it in usually for um, Amazon gift cards. So then I'm just saving even more money on Amazon. Um, you can also cash it in for magazines. Um, you can donate it. There's all kinds of different things. Target cards, uh, there's been gas cards on there. Last year, I had $150 in gift cards. Doesn't sound like a ton of money, but that's $150 that I used at Christmas that I didn't have to spend out of my own pocket. So that was great. Um, so 3,000 points gets you a $3 gift card. Um, every time you shop, there's also a e-receipt. You just connect your email to it. You hit that. It will upload all of your e-receipts. Um, so you earn points that way. Um, and it also has bonus points. So for example, um, Cheerios is on here this week. Um, so if you buy Cheerios, again, don't go buy Cheerios just because you get extra points. But if you buy Cheerios in your regular grocery haul, that would be a great way to get extra points. That's a $3 for you. So that's just one of those things that I think is fun to have. It gives you extra money in your pocket. It's a wonderful thing. Another app that I have is the Amazon Shopper. It's a panel app. Um, it just asks you to take a picture when you shop anywhere besides Amazon. Um, they just wanna know like what you're purchasing outside of Amazon. I usually don't buy my groceries from Amazon unless there's like a really good deal. So I just scan my Aldi's or my Meyer or Kroger or wherever I've gone that week. And after 10 um, receipts uploaded, they send you a $10 gift card. It's an email with an E number and it gives you the $10 instantly. It's fantastic. And I will put some screenshots and things like that in so you guys can see how that works and that it's legit. Um, these are all easy, simple things that you guys can do to just save even five to ten dollars a week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions or you want to know more tips and tricks, please let me know. I'd be happy to share them with you. And I hope you all have a great day.